Xiaomi has been rolling out the Mi UI 9 update to some phones and we've been playing around with it on our Mi 6 for a bit. And in today's video, let's talk about the top 14 changes that Mi UI 9 brings to the table. Let's get started. To start with, there are some new icons here. They look nice. There is also some new animations for the first party apps that look really sweet. Every time you get back to the home screen, you see the small animation. While it doesn't do much, it does give MIUI an extra coat of polish. I love how Xiaomi's managed to achieve this without compromising on performance. Well, let's get to the performance part in a bit. Now let's talk about my favorite feature. I absolutely adore this one. I've been waiting for it for ages. Quick switch. Double tapping the recent key lets you jump back and forth between the current app and the one you last used. This is a stock Nougat feature that wasn't present even in those cases where MIUI 8 was built on top of Nougat. That drove me nuts and I'm extremely glad to see Xiaomi bring it to MIUI 9. Talking about Nougat features that were ignored, split screen multitasking is also present with MIUI now. The implementation here is a little different though. To enable it you need to tap recents and then hit this key and then it's business as usual. Just drag and drop and there you go split screen multitasking. It is worth noting that as of now many of Xiaomi's own first party apps don't support it but I do expect that to change going forwards. So I have mixed feelings about it, it is not as simple as it is with stock Android. One extra step, it's not worth cribbing about but then it is worth mentioning. Another thing worth mentioning is that the alternate recent apps view that we used to have, the icon view that you'd get when you pinch the screen, that's not available anymore. And the apps also, if you notice, have lesser space in between. Like I mentioned earlier, the animations have changed and the opening and closing animations are faster than ever before, making the interface feel a lot more snappier. Now that's not just due to the faster animations. Xiaomi has been able to optimize MIUI 9 to get more out of the existing hardware. For example, in our speed test between MIUI 8 and MIUI 9 on this very Mi 6, we could see that the Mi 6 could render a video 10% faster on MIUI 9 than it could on MIUI 8. That's thanks in large to a lot of changes that Xiaomi's done underneath the hood and it's welcome news for anybody who already owns a Xiaomi phone that's gonna be getting MIUI 9. You know, extra performance on existing hardware, that's always great, right? Another welcome addition is the quick option to select the silent mode or DND by hitting the volume key. Xiaomi also lets you easily select how long you want this mode to be on for. Guys, I love OnePlus's alert slider and how easily it lets me put my phone on silent and I feel Xiaomi adding this particular feature to MIUI, while it's not a replacement for a physical toggle, it definitely goes a long way in making the user experience better. I definitely am a fan of this one. The lock screen has also received a change. At first glance, it seems to be business as usual, right? But swipe to the right and you see this page. Here you get to control your Mi Home devices and turn that flashlight on or off. And if you think there are not a lot of Mi Home devices being sold here, so maybe it's not applicable to me. Stuff like the Mi Light Strips, they're quite cheap and they look great and that's something you can import easily. If you're interested in the light strip, I'll leave direct links in the description below. Xiaomi's home screen management due to features like swiping to pull down the notification bar, multi-touch support for rearranging icons, the ease of bulk uninstalls, fine touches like these, in my honest opinion, is what makes Xiaomi's home screen management one of the best already. This time around, Xiaomi's made a bunch of changes and they're all good. Handling multiple uninstalls, moving apps across home screens, switching transitions, switching wallpapers. It's all easier than ever before and to make sure you don't change these involuntarily, you can even get that home screen locked. Switching the default launcher is also easier than ever before. So overall, I love what Xiaomi's done with home screen management here on UI 9. So moving on, the way notifications are handled has also gotten a workover. The notifications are not cumulative. So say an app gets three notifications, it takes only one spot on the bar, just like with stock Android, but yes, there's a but. You need to use a two finger pull down to expand them. And I'm not really sure how I feel about that because that would mean I'd need to use, say the Mi 6 two handed. And one of the biggest pros of the Mi 6 for me is the fact that it's awesome for single handed use. And now this kinda seems counterproductive. 
So talking about changes I'm not really sold on. The disable option is gone now. For that you'd need to press and hold the notification and then disable it. Instead of the disable option you now see an unimportant option where all these notifications get grouped into a folder. Again I'm not really sure if I love or hate this. I guess I'll know more once I've spent more time with MIUI 9. So the next one I review with MIUI 9 which would probably be the Mi 5X. Check out that review. I'll talk more about it then. By the way, inline replies right from the notification bar are a reality now. Then there are three new themes that Xiaomi's introduced with MIUI 9. They all look sweet and are welcome additions to Xiaomi's ever-growing list of themes. Barring these, there are a lot more minor changes including a search bar inside dual apps, changes to the security app, then there are also some others like image search, smart assistant and smart app launcher that are available only for the Chinese ROM as of now. So that's it. What do you think about MIUI 9? Did we miss your favorite feature? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Vote it down if you hated it, but if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't know anyone who owns a Xiaomi phone or are looking forward to MIUI 9 or are just interested in knowing more about MIUI 9, I know it's insane, you know, to ask people for so much at the end of a video. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon. But then again, that is how YouTube works. So I'm sorry, guys. I've got to ask you all that. I'm just kidding. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.